It is the season to shop, shop, shop till you drop. Don't want to sound like a Grinch here, but over the years I've collected gifts and items that I kept out of politeness, which I never ended up using. Sort of like the product samples you get when you shop for makeup. You know those little perfumes you never end up using, but you feel bad throwing away? Which leads me to my next point, what to buy for others. If I'm tired of collecting and we know how hard it is to allocate time and energy to get rid of things as well, what if everyone else I'm shopping for has the same problem? What is that perfect present? I always imagine the person I'm buying the gift for, the reaction they will have, and the joy it will bring them. I wonder, is it a real smile or just a polite one? Over the years, I purchased quality household items for my parents, such as, you know, nice silverware and china teacups, which even I didn't own. But after a lot of research came to find just how exquisite they are, and I wouldn't mind having a set myself. Would I end up using them? I don't know. Well, what I do know is that none of these gifts were used. They would dust away in some cupboard unopened. And yes, even when it was time for guests to enjoy a nice holiday meal, the silverware would still go unused. So this got me thinking. Let's take a look at gifts for a second. Material gifts throughout our lives. When we're kids, we like gifts. We live for them for the instant gratification and the joy of opening the wrapper. The mystery is still there and we all like the suspense before the box is opened, especially if it's a little black box that fits in your palm. But when we got toys, we also stopped playing with them shortly after. You give kids 10 toys, they will pick top two and ignore the rest. So let's fast forward to teenage years when you replace toys with makeup and fashion, when self-image becomes the center of your existence. Now you need to try on the latest and greatest bonus if your friends already got their hands on them. I think perhaps here is where we could apply fast fashion because our mind change as often as the next commercial. So yes, for teens, it's a great time to shop for and gift clothes, makeup, and gadgets, but do you know their taste? I personally haven't shopped for one, a teenager that is, a few years away from that. I can't help but notice the similarity when an older generation shops for me. The style tastes are different. I recommend shopping together or creating a wish list together and sharing it with whoever wants to buy for the teens. Now, if you want to maintain the surprise element, go the extra mile and find out what stores or brands they like to shop at. Gift cards are popular here in the States, and while I was brought up that cash is cold, it's convenient and much appreciated because, well, you don't go through the return hassle. The perfect present is going to be one casually mentioned throughout the year, and it sounds like this. Oh, I wish I had this. This is so beautiful. Or, this would match my other thing in a closet. Or, I never tried this before. So take note when you hear this and buy it for them before you forget. For me, this is when I like to research them on Amazon really quickly and add it to their wish list so that I can review them later. Let's fast forward to 20s. By now you have a job and you earn enough to cover for anything you missed out on in your teens. You can afford decent makeup, clothes, and shoes. So what kind of presents do you need? This is the period of your life where you live on your own and discover that, well, life is pretty expensive, right? If you want a stylish sofa, you need to save. Less and less is going towards beauty products and maintenance in general, since that's probably where you spend the most of your discretionary hard-earned money. So right about now is when I started to be grateful for all the socks and sweaters that I was getting in my teens and not appreciating them. <laughs> Don't worry, we all do it. Now the gifts are used to help improve the quality of your lifestyle. The apartment you live in, the cost of the wedding, the down payment of the new home together, and everything that goes in it. All of a sudden, wine glasses, matching plates, and a mixer become priority. <laughs> 
Now we're in the 30s. We have babies and boy are they expensive. Hopefully by now you are settled, have your own wardrobe, a fully equipped home, and everything shifts towards the baby expenses. Congratulations, you have just been replaced. All the family's focus will now be on the younger generation, so don't worry about getting presents you won't like. <laughs> be grateful you're still in the Christmas picture. I'm joking, but you know, I recently had this conversation with someone in their 20s and he couldn't understand how can people afford Christmas presents with kids. And my reply was this. It's not like all of a sudden money stretches out and you double your salary during Christmas. No, no, no. When you have kids, your wife will get less and you will get none. <laughs> so enjoy the year till then. And the parents out there know exactly what I'm talking about. Here are my alternatives. Point number one, set aside funds for the holidays months in advance. Create a holiday savings account or physically put cash into an envelope in the office if that works better for you. Don't wait until December to be stressed over what you can and can't get, or even worse, stuck with high bills in January. Next is use your credit card points to cash out during December. So if you have a card that gives you reward points for purchases, which they all do by now, don't touch it during the year and save it till the end. It's a nice little bonus, if you want to call it that, that you don't think about. So out of sight, out of mind. Point number three, shop less. That's right, after the entire speech I gave you for kids' gifts. So there was one year we got them so many presents, small ones, that I wrapped everything individually. And knowing me, I start shopping way ahead of time, like sometimes even during the summer. You know, you see sometimes something you like and then you get it and you put it away. Sometimes you forget about it. And sometimes the kids want something last minute, even though you already know you bought enough. So you're gonna hold back on a few of the presents for the next birthday, perhaps. Waste of resources to spend, time spent on endless, endless wrapping, waste of all that paper, and it was turning into this race to open as many presents as possible and not even spending any time appreciating what they unwrapped. It's almost as if the gifts were reassessed only when each and every single present was open. <laughs> I think most of you can relate to this, right? So we had to take breaks from opening presents. It was too much. So let's not even mention clutter of extra toys they don't need. More energy, more resources allocated so they could maybe play with them for a few months and then out donations and a landfill. So Santa gave me this great idea. Have you noticed in the cartoons that Santa only gives out one present? So one year we said, let's just do one present each from each of us to each other. They still add up to six, seven presents each to open. And it's plenty. If you give one present to one person, you will put in a lot more thought into it and it will become more meaningful. We tried this out last year and it was such a relief, much more anticipated, less costly and enjoyable. I highly, highly recommend it. Number four, shop experience. Get tickets to shows. You know, there are endless entertaining shows in winter and you have your local theater, check out what their calendar of events looks like. You have concerts and ice shows, so many, so many options. And I don't think anyone would refuse a good experience, right? This is a nice gift to parents and older generations who quite frankly, don't need anything. Number five, create a wish list. I don't need anything and I don't want anyone to spend on me just because. So could I add to my collection of jewelry or purses and blazers and cashmere sweaters and silk shirts? I mean, sure, who wouldn't? But 
it's not a must and it's not affordable for everyone to spend a hundred dollars on a silk shirt so i like to share my wish list with all kinds of items i add throughout the year at all prices and if anyone wants to buy me something one of these items is actually what i want and picked and it's a really nice surprise to open because most likely if you're adding it throughout the year you probably forgot about it too <laughs> for those who want to gift to people that need to be mailed to like they live far away i recommend checking out stores that deliver directly to them and it doesn't need to be objects costco for example has gourmet foods that are are presented very beautifully they also have special flower arrangements for the holidays and you know it's something that they will enjoy for a few days maybe a week and then it's gone it's not cheap but it's the thought that counts and the person receiving the gift won't be stuck with one more object to collect dust and find room for in their home on the flowers note I also recommend purchasing plants that are planted in pots and then you know the receiving has to grow them I think that's a really beautiful gift idea have them delivered and it just brings life into that person's home movies you know when was the last time you bought a DVD a physical DVD especially for older generations that recall movies I am such a big movie fan and they just don't make movies like they used to i thoroughly enjoy the classics we all have you know our favorites and they're most likely not played on tv anymore so why not just buy it for them it's inexpensive and very personal to them you know last year i purchased a movie from the 20s and it was one of the best presents i gifted it was probably eight dollars but the actual thought behind it priceless <laughs> by your late 30s you probably earn enough to not need anyone I used to have this mentality that I would associate a big purchase to an event such as a birthday or Christmas to justify the spending and even worse I would need to convince someone to get it for me it was exhausting I recommend not waiting on someone else to gift you something that you need or want go and buy it yourself if there's something you truly want regardless of what it is make a plan to get it done budget for it save for it whatever it takes take back control and don't leave it to the mercy of others your partner your parents and such you deserve it and you should get it i understand you need to accommodate a family budget in this case sit down and make a plan together just as an example i would like to purchase these manolos you know they cost a thousand dollars i thought about it and i really really want them so here's a plan to save for it or how can we get it done no one should make you feel bad or shame you for wanting something expensive yes a thousand dollars for a pair of shoes is a lot depending on your budget but if you really want it no one can tell you no i picked this as an example because i'm a big fan of sex in the city and well you are probably familiar with the satin blue manolos i dreamed about those shoes <laughs> since the episode came out decades ago it was a collectible for me i saved enough and i kept going to the store to try them on and then i realized how little i would get to use them because I would just be afraid to get the satin dirty so I ended up not getting them I got a beautiful suede pair for $130 with crystal embellishments instead and years later I'm still enjoying them I'm very happy about them so I did this also for a birthday and Christmas combination I said I'm saving to get the Dyson air wrap so I told my husband I don't want any presents because I am saving for something bigger and nine months later I got it <laughs> let me know if you found any of these tips useful and my hope is that you will spend less this season and enjoy it more with less clutter in your home for tips on how to shop for expensive things on a budget watch my next video here I'll see you there bye